Yo, Cuss by Reggie, back again, another Clipper review. But before I get into the Clipper review, if you watched my last video with the tips of gaining clientele, I do want to apologize again for the sound, the quality of the microphone. I be doing other stuff with my microphone and stuff and I, I had my volume up a little too high, forgot to turn it down, but hopefully you still listen. Hopefully you was able to get through it and get some type of tips, maybe something that may help uh, newer barbers further along in their career of being a barber. But now that we're here, we have another review. And today we will be reviewing the Caliber 50 Cal. 50 cal mag <laughs> all right so i bought these clippers maybe two three weeks ago finally getting around to actually reviewing them um i use them for one full week all the way through uh but we'll get to that we'll get to that all right so what i like to do start with the packaging this packaging is very simple it's it's a shoe box <laughs> you get what i'm saying it's really nothing nothing big to it so if i got some i'm not even gonna get to that if you get the the gammas you know with the gamma boxing there's a whole display to it you know what i'm saying and if y'all have watched my past videos y'all know how i feel about the jrl packaging i like it this is not bad it's just very basic and like i've said before it doesn't matter how to the, how how they package it as long as the product is good, if it's worth the buy. I didn't care for this packaging though. Um, so that would be a knockoff for me. Not that it matters in the, the whole scheme of your, your products, all right? So getting to the accessories, they got your guards. They give you up to, I think four is the highest guard. Look at that. And that's just from sitting in a box. I don't use these guards. I, gotta, I, I use wall guards. All the clippers these days, most of them anyway, takes wall guards, so I just use walls. So, uh, as you can see, maybe not the strongest, but they give you up to four. They give you the oil and the brush, no tool, no screwdriver or anything. So, that's a knockoff on accessories. Then they give you the, I do like this now. I don't travel. I'm not going to Europe anytime soon. And I know these companies are not necessarily just made in the United States or for the United States. So them including this is not a bad thing. Um, in my last video, I know I said that these are, these put me in the mind of the ergos. And I like to explain that I wasn't meaning which one came first. Cause I never, I don't know which one come first. I bought, I buy the Clippers and as they come, I use the ergos first, so these put me in the mind of the ergos. So that's what I was explaining. But, so we got the packaging. Packaging is cool, nothing too big. You got the accessories. Nothing crazy, um, except for the dock. They do have a dock. I do like that. I do like the charging dock. This is one thing that I wish JRL had for the 2020 Cs, but they don't. Not a big deal, but it is kind of helpful to be able to just turn around and set your clipper on rather than having to find your cord. And, and again, it's not, it's not that you don't know where your cord is or it's a big headache to find your cord. It's just easier on a busy day or when you cut in her, turn around, boom, put it down. So they do have that. All right, so you got your packaging, not the greatest. You got your accessories, not the best. You got the oils, the brush, you got your the charging dock and you got um, the guards up to four. I got these out the packaging. Like I said, they reminded me of the ergos. Not that that's bad. That's just what it put me in the mind of right when I'm f now feeling them, holding them. No, they're not the ergos when you're holding them. Of course, you can see the difference in the design in that standpoint. But when I'm saying they put me in the mind of the ergos, they put me in the mind of the ergos. And I know a few people was telling me that they're made by the same company in the sense of being overseas. Pulling them out the box, I'm not thinking about that. I'm just like going straight to, boom, all these feel familiar, all right? But 
you got the packaging or whatever. So the, when you get to the clipper, they got 10,000 SPM. This is your generation three of these. They got the, the blade, they got the fade blade on there, thin fade blade. I like that. They got the, if I can find it real quick, a charging time of 90 minutes run for five hours. When you're using these, they do run for five hours. So that is a big plus on using these caliber clippers. Um, my overall take of them, they, they cool. They got the power. The only problem is on certain heads, that power kind of runs out. Not that it, it doesn't stop, it doesn't pull, it doesn't snag. It's just sometimes when I'm fading or I'm going against the hair, especially if they got thicker hair, it don't slow down. It just, it just feels like the power turns down. It's like it got a mechanic on the inside that, wait a minute, we don't know if we can get through this, so let's slow down and take our time. There's only a one speed. So, I mean, there's not two speeds like on a JRL where you can use it for different hair textures. This is one speed, all right? Um, so I'm not dragging this along. Overall, this is a decent clipper. It doesn't get hot. It got a great blade on it. It's heavy, but it's not too heavy. Um, another thing, I don't understand why I put these LED lights, I mean, this uh, indicator down here. I know once you put it on a dock, it indicates that it's charging or it's fully charged, but I would like to see that more of a pop out, just like I said with the Ergos. I would like to see that more of a pop out when my clipper is dying. I mean, I know it starts to be, you know, pop on a little bit, but it doesn't give me enough time to say, oh, wait a minute, let me, there was a few times where while I'm using it, it just dies on it. You get what I'm saying? Rather than going to my favorite clipper, right? One of my favorite clippers, the JRL, there's a big display right there. So when you're cutting, you see that. You see that there's no light on here when it's turned on or anything. Nevertheless, all right, it's a very good clipper. It's a strong, powerful clipper. I did find times that it did slow down like the power wasn't necessarily there. It's there, you can feel it when you turn it on, but it just didn't seem like it held up throughout a day of use to me. All right, very quiet, not bad at that. I hate that, I hate that writing. I don't like that. I mean, it's, it doesn't make a difference once it comes to the clipper, but my personal opinion, I don't like that bulky writing. They could have just left the caliber here. But, all right, so let me get back to the, let me make sure I'm explaining everything. The blade, great blade, same blade from the Ergos. The machine, 10,000 SPM, it has it. Sometimes I feel like it bogged down, but it has it. Um, another problem I had, it only let me gap it so far. Like, so I don't really zero gap my clippers, but when these came out the box, they didn't seem like they was close enough to even come close to getting out a ball line. But when I'm trying to zero gap it and trying to get it where I want it, it's like the, the bracket only lets me get so far into, into gapping it. I don't know if y'all can really see that, but that's like as far as I can, as close as I can get it. If any one of y'all have gotten y'all closer than that, let me know, but that's another problem that I had with it. Uh, blade good, motor good. They don't get hot. They feel good when you fade in. Uh, I don't care too much of the bulky feel to it. The Ergo's got a little, these just fit perfect in your hand anyway, so we're gonna, we're gonna get off of that. But overall, these are a good clipper. I got my problems with it, but my problems are more of a, uh, like the fact that it can't zero gap it closer. That's not a big deal but I wish I could on mine, all right? And the motor, the power that it has in it, it still has that power in it. Me thinking of the power could be just a feel in my hand. These feel like they keep the power no matter what, fading it, goes through any texture of her. These don't seem like they go through any texture of her. 
let me take it back. They do. It's just like you have to go over a few times before you can actually get it. You get what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Hopefully all of this made sense. Should you buy the caliber? Yes. How much was the caliber? I don't remember. I'm gonna put the price there. You see it? Boom. These are good clippers though. I won't add them to my everyday use because there's so much of the ergos to me and I like the ergos better in the sense of power in, you know, throughout the day. So I'm gonna stick with those. Uh, but I tried them. Are they good? Yes. Should you buy them? Yes. Um, yeah. That's it. Hopefully this made sense. I'm trying to uh, go over, over this clipper. I used it for a week straight. I've had them for about two or three weeks. I used it for a week straight. I haven't used it since then because I'm really not a fan of, I don't, so I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not a fan of them. I wouldn't put these over the Ergos or the JRL and I have those already. If you don't have any of them or you wanna try something else, these are a great clipper. Um, yeah, try them. Definitely buy them if you looking for new clippers. Definitely buy these. Caliber, 50 cal. Great clippers, great blade, great motor. Runs for five hours actually after a 90 minute run. Uh, uh, after just 90 minutes of charging, you get five hours and they don't lie about it. And they got a dock, set it on the dock. Bottom, buy them, buy them. And if you like the video, please comment on the video, like the video, share the video. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I was looking through my analytics or whatever, right? And 30%, what did it say? Only 30% of my views are from subscribers. So that means I got 70% of views coming from people that's not subscribed. Just, just hit the button. I'm not gonna bother you. I mean, I'm gonna post a video once or twice a week. But that's not a bother. Subscribe to the channel. Cuz my Reggie. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike it. Boom. I'm out.